Go. Up. It's going. Boop. All right, awesome. There we go. Hello, Bane. What's up? Yeah, Yoda Leahy ho. I did. Going to sleep early is going to sleep at like two or three in the morning. I have like two more hours before I have to go to bed. I just got back home. Omelet du fromage. What's up, long cat? I remember the rapper Nelly, like the hottest sensation in like 2001, maybe not late 90s, I don't really remember. Boo! Yeah! Yep, 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 yep. We got like 24 subs today. That's fucking crazy. So many. On lay, undelay, undelay, mommy, ia, ia, uh oh, oh yeah, that song by Nelly. Because <laughs> I only have two hours. I don't think that's enough time to do a heist. And my girlfriend has my PlayStation. Going to bed early is going to bed at 2 a.m. That's early. I usually stay up until like 6 or 7 in the morning. Inside. This is Paladin Dance on the All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge police station immediately for reassignment. We're going. Cambridge police. Yeah, I saw you were streaming like an hour ago. I clicked on it and I was like, oh. Bonum's alive. Air on my desk. I don't think it's... Burn marks. They must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. I suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place. Holy fuck! That's one of the modded guns. That's an anti-tank rifle that I have in the game. Holy shit. Oh, I need to get me one of those. What's up, Coral? The taco would fist you. Soviet Russia, tacos fist you. There he is, he's looking at me all mean. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Why did the Brotherhood send it here? We call our ship, the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Jay hey boy, what's up? After rolling that thing in, We've certainly started a war. No one brings that much firepower without plans to use it. If yeah. history's proven anything, Mom Spaghetti. No, I know all about Mom Spaghetti, man. A chance of halting a conflict. He's weak. Mom Spaghetti. Besides, why should we hold back when There's we have something like that at our disposal? Vomit on your that being said, Mom Spaghetti. You're about to get to know the Pridwin up close. Mom and Spaghetti. <laughs> I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going He's to weak. Ride. Mom, mom, spaghetti. <laughs> hey, let me. Uh, do you want? Hey, hey, let me ask you something. 
<laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> okay, ask. Just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yep, we're good. Yeah. I'm all right. Solid. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Ew. Than I was. Took me a long time. I want to be a tough nut. That's gross. Place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Kiss, 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 halo. Boo. I'm out. <laughs> Bad because I didn't play GTA? <laughs> You ever stuck your dick in a pie? I've been known to do that once or twice. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire. Oh, you the of the... I have no idea what that says, Long Cat. They finally put enough holes in him to drop him. They say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt... Shit real in my eye. ...in the front gate at all. Why'd they let you in? Because yeah. I rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh... <clears throat> Remember the crop, them caravan hands. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four tufts. I took her home, and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. I don't care anymore. <laughs> was it hard settling in? Bro, that was my cousin? It, easy. I started it was off your cousin. The jobs no one else wanted got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get <laughs> it. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. Wait, effort, he likes to see homos naked? That's a long story, <laughs> but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Yes, please. Jesus. Please, just let me go. Now that the Fridlin's here, we can take the fight to the <laughs> Would you rather be with a girl with man hands or a man with woman hands? Uh, that's pretty easy. I would rather take the woman with man's hands. At least she still has a vagina. Oh, I want to get on the vertical bird. Anything cool up here? Sexy's the man. That is the question. <laughs> 
<laughs> the boss Trent, I suck dicks for food. There you go. Whoa. I'll take that mini nuke. You're a dedicated man. To fly, they would have built us with wings. Oh, or about the wreck some shit. I suggest you put What's it up, Christopher? Make sure you properly identify your target before you start <laughs> Make sure to properly identify your target. Yep, we'll do. I'm gonna blow up all the cars. George Clooney sexy. Boom. Man, blowing up cars is awesome. Fire lurk! It's not dying, it's just kind of laughing at me. Be more dramatic, dance. Can I suck your dick? Good. Jesus, at least take me to dinner first. <laughs> what up, cars is awesome. That one's already blown. Final question Is he hairy? Incredibly. Wow, lagging. What's up, Mario? How you doing? Flagging like a mofo. Of course he's hairy. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Let me get that car. Ow. Oh wait, this is... Oh yeah, this is the Brotherhood of Steel place. I'm shooting it up. Don't be shooting up the Brotherhood of Steel. Gonna have me, uh... Oh, gonna be... After all those questions, still no? Don't reveal my fetish. <laughs> it's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. Yeah, everything changes now. Oh wait, I'm not done yet. We got it. it. Would have been a yes if we did have any body hair. Creepy. <laughs> Type one if you have an asshole. Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate. I'll verbally type one. Type one. Enter. Yes, sir. There you go. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxims approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the critic and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Covenant. Ad Victorium. Hey, who's the guy scrubbing the floors? So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me.
And what's a soldier supposed to look like? Look at my tiny little pistol. Supposed to be an efficient killing machine, not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous. Brotherhood of Steel? We're gonna be the Brotherhood of Steel, Coral. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. His mustache is floating off of his face. I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Yep. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Burns my Your flesh eyeballs. Proceed to the command Here. deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask Wait, me now. Want me to go talk Otherwise, to somebody? I, uh, I hate it because you have to go around and, like talk to everybody. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, initiate. Going, I'm going. Everybody in the Brotherhood of Steel is always giving me a hard time. Whoa. Uh, some extreme views on Elder Maxon. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. How to get, how to get eye cancer in five ways? The Brotherhood of Steel. Facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. That's Kirsten. And our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer. Carol, you kind of got to stop greeting mission. people with that. It kind of pushes broke. people away. <laughs> it's not a good way to say hello. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent oh, Elder Maxon. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion. Oh, you gotta learn a different way. <laughs> free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, like we will carrots? be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Oh, that must Ad be... Victorium. Oh, there we go. Ad Victorium. Someone finally did it. I was like, wow, that'd be very embarrassing. Go through that whole speech, and then in the end... Uh, they had Victorium, but... Yeah, Trent, you, you gotta calm down. Sir. Like, one or two comments is fine, but you're just going on and on. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. Save them so by shooting them in the head. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. That I'm jacket, though? Reports were quite yeah, I do like that furry jacket. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us, seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers. You couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Might not be here for a lot because I went swimming today and when I swim I get tired, so... Alright. Duly noted, Christopher. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain yeah. you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Whoa! His hand went right through his jacket. 
Amazing. Stab the death. <laughs> yeah, she did. I was in the car with her. She like freaked the fuck out. Good. Carry on. Congratulations. I thought she like hurt herself or something. She just started screaming. Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? Welcome back, J Boy. Yeah, there we go. Very impressed with him. <laughs> he seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much oh, yeah, Bane. I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. <laughs> Uh, I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. The Red Gyarados now, now? I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Sanctuary with uh, the guy that's looking for milk. Not much of a sight yourself. Yeah, people are being uh, pretty graphic. Oh, nice. Level 20. Hell yeah. I should have did charisma, but I don't think that far ahead. Oh, wow, you can hit Never caps lock and it'll make you uh, go slow. They need to train on Not right now, no. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, really? You have to talk to all these bastards in here? I hated doing this before. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready Level for your medical exam? <laughs> Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? <laughs> LOL, oh, well, dummy. <laughs> Good one. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Um... Never been seriously sick yeah. in my life. Good, good. Third question. Good, good, good. And please answer honestly. I didn't read your Have record. Have you ever had <laughs> sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Oh, uh, there's nothing. Those species aren't my type. Good. I find the practice. I was hoping, like, yeah. I Bang gerbils or something. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. Yay! I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. Thank you. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. At least get a cookie. Squid for breakfast? Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Quinlan? Ah, oh, good. Boots. We'll find me here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Bud cancer for nine gaggers?
<laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? You got Randy down there. Oh shit, here comes Randy. You're shooting a chick. No! Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Yeah, that's me. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. Don't worry, I wouldn't However, listen anyway. I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents. Sounds like he is a little bit. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. <laughs> Ralther Maxon. You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. Felder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the Proctor Ingram. So I'd be the you're first the new one to I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What's up, Wade? How you doing? <laughs> Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. We do, we do, we do, we do, rocking everywhere. We pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the crude one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire. You come see oh yeah, I blasted Kellogg apart. <laughs> I don't think we to get. I don't even think we knows what the fuck a magic carp is. Uh, is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. A Kellogg's dirt bag. He definitely got it good. Decent T sixty suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in bay three. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I So guess. how do you ever Before get enough uh, fusion cores to, like, just constantly use uh, your power armor? I understand. Good. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. The bay three. Two. Okay, so this is it right here. I remember I killed everybody in here and I went in there and stole everything. It was awesome. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock I just don't know store, how you get like a ridiculous amount. This is the place to buy them. Like I have a good bit of them. Uh, well, I don't know exactly how many I have. I'm gonna take a look, but I guess I'm gonna. Just gonna go and uh. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment. They give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of 
course. If you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I know you just don't get them all in one spot, but... I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. All the right. Meantime, if you ever need anything else, you can yeah, we have 400 on, subs today. Even ammo. Slightly over. You just let me. Fucking know. awesome. They've been busy. Probably. What can I get for you today? What do you have for sale? I'll take a look. Owner. I some choice weapons that just came in. Vegan's cool, Brotherhood of Steel, old school. JTEC? This guy has a lot of different ammo. There we go. <laughs> and oh, oh, that's so much better than what I have. <laughs> It's so much better. Fitness. Bullion style goatee. All he's missing is a glass of rum. Man, this stuff's expensive, but it's like way better than what I have. He sells fusion cores for 520 a piece. He can suck a boner for that. Randy's squeaking. Will you tell Randy to stop squeaking? Hardened P90. Man, this guy has so much stuff. Power armor frame, railway spike. Sweet jeezers. He has a lot of stuff in here. Actually, what guns do I have on me that I need ammo for? Got those. Kellogg's pistol. 454. We go all the way back up. Boner fart. Don't you hate when your boner farts? Couple of those. 308 Winchesters. And cells. What are these? Are they power cells? Comrade, that uh, is the epic mid that Wait, what happened? Kirsten. Banned. You unbanned Christopher. Or, I mean, you banned him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't pay a Christopher. Cells. So what kind of... Okay, fusion cells. That's expensive, but I need... She's on her phone, so like... Fucking banned. Banned Christopher. It was an accident, Christopher. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, yeah, my. Wait, I need to see how many f powers? Fusion cells? Is that what it's called? I guess I could just get in. It'll. If Dom and Ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. I'd gladly. But he's talking to me. Keeps humanity from repeating. I guess getting in will tell me how many I have. I have seven. That's what 
I call locked and loaded. I have seven. I'm gonna. I'll come back for this after I'm done here because I'm just gonna fast travel back to uh, the sanctuary and see if I can upgrade it from there. Frig up, burb. Randy Savage as fuck. <laughs> hey. We have to do. Meet with Elder Maxon. Well, I probably should have just click. I'm coming, Elder Maxon. I'm so happy you let me join your cult. Exactly what it is. Cult. Randy's a real bastard, that's why. Randy's my cat. <laughs> <laughs> and Randy is a cheeseburger walrus. Target practice, I guess. Why can't you get a summer job? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with supermodels. Having those aberrations of nature is loose enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat meat shells we can use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that... Can I join you on GTA 5? Understood? I don't know if you noticed, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> Consider it done. Look, I realize Mass you're going to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal. Mario. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate them. We have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty demons from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, let's go, uh... Wait. I'm glad you're not mad about me stealing all this stuff in your desk fan. Nobody will miss it. Take a nap. Purge the muties. This is a GT. <laughs> what the hell am I watching? <laughs> Go. It's mini gun time, bitches. Maybe. Wait. Oh. No. God damn it, I forgot. I gave the minigun to, uh... You guys are so loud, stop it. What the hell happened? Why is it on fire? Why are they attacking it? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, accidentally. Don't ban Chris. Bugs! Um, it doesn't really seem to care. Target acquired. Interesting. Keep them in your sights. Oh, they're going down alright. He's throwing rocks at us. 
Okay, it's, that's not blown up. Die, you son of a bitch. I took him down. Think Fallout how it used to be? What do you mean? Oh. Look at these goddamn crab things again. Get out of here. Come and get it. Oh, everything's on fire. My arm's broken. Get out of here, you idiot. Gay girl. One time I woke up. I found out my dog was biting my arm and I screamed out, shit. Seems like an appropriate response to getting mauled by a pet in your sleep. <laughs> oh, where are you going? It's leaving me here! Wow. Uh, either that other guy was doing a lot of damage, or this little pistol is doing tons of damage. Uh, I think I just took an empty bottle. <laughs> Your dog slaps you. Oh, animals. Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it. Oh, and probably scratched the shit out of you too, huh, Carol? There he is, man. He has a shopping cart filled with rocks on his back. Damn. Dogs. What was that? Dance, I have to go and get that minigun off of, uh, what's-his-face? Nick. That's it, Nick. Uh, we have to go in here, I forgot. Ever tried to kill your dog? That's good. You shouldn't kill your pets. Alright, now we'll get to see how much damage this thing actually does. I'll call him French Mustard. <laughs> this area seems to be in disarray. No oh, shit, you think? Everything seems to be in disarray. You French? Nice. Damn, this gun's bullshit too. Tiny. Oh, here, play tricks on me again. Yep. You can't hide forever. All that sounds of brain chunks launching all over the Uh-oh. Oh, you kicked my dog. Oh. Out of my way. I already looted that one. Penetrating machete. I don't think I want to get penetrated by that. Well, maybe a little. Fucking kitty. Not sure what I'm looting, but it allowed me to loot all that from something on the floor. Gone now. 
Damn. There's drugs everywhere. It's amazing. Daniel Barrow Gonzalez? Build? No idea. I'm not very good at this game. I don't really have anything planned out for this guy. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Really? Again, there's debris everywhere. Places ripped apart. The entire city's ripped apart. You have a fidget spinner. No, I do not. Aluminum canister. Bad. Hey. Found him. Go get him. I'm busy looting stuff. Back to hell. Just sent them back to hell. For sure. Something good in here. Aha! Two packs of cigarettes. Want a hermit crab, a bunny, lobster, puppy, bird, piggy, chicken, turkey, and I'll we'll be your friend. Yeah? I think that's gonna take some work. About a mutated mole rat? I already looted this place. There's telephones left over, so I most definitely did not. Bottle caps. Nice. Old dirty camera. I just have to take everything. Hollow tape. Hairless cats are cute. Hairless cats are freaky. I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper. So Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a man portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. Bunch of mini nukes? I mean, that sounds like something that I'd be excited about. Sure. I'm gonna pet old dirty bastard. Old old dirty bastard's dead. ODB, he's dead. Wait, did we clear it or what? Later, Christopher. Oh, well, that's awkward. Is there a way downstairs or something that I'm not seeing? Milk of human kindness. There must be a downstairs or something if I still haven't gotten it. There we go. Inga. ODB was a sick bastard. Oh, I'm dirty too. <laughs> I mean, he did put just copious amounts of cocaine into his body, so I'm not surprised he died when he was like 30. Out of my way, fuckers. So much junk. Gotta have it all. Tube flange. No green stuff. Definitely need. How many cocaines is too many cocaines? He had 30 kids, 25 different women. I adopt a homeless man, I'll take care of him. No, you you won't take care of him. That's the thing. That sound. What is it? Get 
killing their dogs. Puddle of hobo. Not interested in any of that. Hey, I didn't get a chance to search everything else. False alarm. Oh, those hoodlums putting their shoes in toilets again. Jesus Christ! Man, that guy just jacked me up. You never know what you'll find. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like lumps of shit. Oh. A vaporized down here. Bobos are simply unhappy hippies. That's, uh, that's actually a pretty good description of them. <laughs> I see battered clipboards everywhere. I feel like I need them. Because it seems like, why would they put so many of them around if you didn't need them at all? Well, dead body. I'll take the squirrel bits. You don't you don't have to twist my arm to take the squirrel bits. That was forty one rounds or whatever the hell that that was. Bravo team testing. Old cigarettes and shit. That probably is what they smell like. Taking that hot plate. There's a spine in there. Out of my way. Oh, didn't need that one. Rib cage in that one. So many drugs. So many goodies. What was that? Bottle cap. The scent of a ripening homeless person if they started smelling of cheap hair, they're no. <laughs> Gotta discard those ones, huh? God damn, I really into Fallout now. What's up, Ethan? How you doing? Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I did it. Doing pretty good. Hey, dance. Lieutenant Leslie Dancer. Come here. Interesting. Look at this. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your The gay sentiment. people say hey, hey, hey. These monstrosities are just hey, another hey, example hey. of man blindly taking a step forward. Private dancer. Only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen this is a new show for you. Do to people. Along come the synths. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? 
it would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Makes sense. Anyway, that's enough. Be Winker Bean. What's important that's me. is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxim. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Oh, why are you leaving? My companion. That's some gross. <laughs> Eaten machine. Go. Out of my way, dog meat. That's not the way to go. There we go. Where I lost Paladin dance. <laughs> Paladin dance. The Leslie dancer. Hey, come with me. You should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I guess uh, knock yourself out. Yep, there's probably nothing else here. Dancer for money. Um, the U.S. I live in Pennsylvania. Hit <laughs> chips, let's go. Yo, two smokes. <laughs> Dance if you have ants in your pants. Luckily, my uh, pants are 100% antless. Man, you haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrate. Now that's a challenge. I don't like you. Pennsylvania. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. West Coast, baby. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Are you tired? Because it's one at one fifteen a.m. over there. Bring the Institute to its knees. Oh. We need to use every weapon at our disposal. I mean, I do have to go to bed in like forty-five minutes to an hour. That's why I'm giving you. But. Signal Usually I stay up until when you need aerial transport. Simply seven o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. We'll hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. Yeah, we're liberating them. Task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival Deuce. in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible <laughs> for the creation of the Synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder, you just say the word. I want Max to is such a pompous douche. And become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met. Best hair. Last so time I checked, it was like an eight-year-old boy's chest. If you discover <laughs> a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Uh, probably I'm gonna stick with the Brotherhood on this run, probably. Engine turbines at 87% efficiency. Vertebrate docking systems and fusion coolant feed systems reporting green. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> 
How'd you know? <laughs> Alright, I need to go and get a... Oh, that's definitely not it. The Institute ending sucks donkey dicks. I like the Institute, mister. It's boring. You shoot down a giant fucking blimp. How is that boring? Wow, how'd they fit a big bucket in that garbage can? Unless you like getting shot. Never turn your back on the Do they grow dope? I, I don't know. Alright, it's time to take this uh this beast back to the back to sanctuary. They do that, I'm joining them. sound. Like I'm turning off all the lights. Hmm. Oh, you, I can't. Uh, you just do all the institute missions, and then when you get to the end, you have the, uh... That's when you do it. Bring you a blanket? Go get your own blanket. How about that, huh? That's what I thought. <laughs> Ugh. Blanket, is that Michael Jackson's? Yeah. <laughs> what are you so how do I make this thing not, like, suck? At least it's not raining. Would it be like or so? Bed pack. You're using Randy as a blanket? Get misc mods. And is that where, uh... I'm trying to get it so the fusion cores last longer. Look at all those tomatoes that I stole from everybody else. Well, this military stuff isn't exactly my specialty. I like turrets because they do the shooting for me. But I'm not picky. Did I level up at all? Whoops. You need the nuclear perk? Hmm. Where is that at? Intelligence perk.
There we go. Need intelligence nine before I can get it. Oh, I remember Celebrity Deathmatch the show. That game was dumb. I never played it. Now, where is, uh... Nick at? Shit, where's... Where's Paladin Dance at? Now I have nobody left. Nick? Where's my old, old sad power armor? There's old Sturgis staring at a wall. Maybe Nick's in bed house? Well, well, actually, I don't think he needs to sleep, does he? Yeah, this isn't bed house. Also not bed. Oh, I was about to start attacking until I realized. There's bed house. I don't even know I'm checking in here. Why the hell would he even be in here? He can't. He doesn't sleep. Oh. Hey, dog, get out. I sent them back to sanctuary. Godsworth. There's gravy. I don't want gravy. Dog meat. Go find Nick. Oh. I sent them back here. A different perk on this. Create the bell under miscellaneous, the one that attracts all settlers. Yeah, if you want to. Preston needs help. Yeah, constantly. He always needs help. Hey, there's a uh, something under attack. Uh, see, I don't have the materials for it anymore. I was an idiot and I spent them all. Oh, well. Okay, so I need to build a bell to attract everybody. I don't see missile. I've headless pressed and way better. Raider. Under furniture. Nope. Looking for a bell that attracts settlers? Resources. Versus miscellaneous. Damn.
No! Shit, I had it placed perfectly, too. There's gravy. No, my shit don't listen to Ethan. <laughs> um, I guess... I guess Nick isn't here? Well, apparently it does. They all came. Is that him? Now that's Mama Murphy. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. Oh. See, there was seven, now there's only six. Chip Firestone, how you doing? Yeah, that that's what I'm trying to do. I was trying to find uh I'm trying to find Nick. You build or explore more? Uh, I definitely explore more. I'm terrible I'm terrible at building. I'm just trying to find old Nick Nicky man. Mama Murphy taking her sweet ass time. <laughs> Gravy, where's Nick? Looking for some good build mods? There's a one that I have installed on here called like Sim Settlements, and it basically just like Um make the settlers build stuff for you valentine is not yeah but i i i thought i forced uh, it asked me where i wanted to send him and i i told him to i thought i told him to go to sanctuary but i guess not yeah i haven't got to use that sim settlements yet i've been mainly just playing the game but Building mod. Let's find good old Nicky boy. Because he has our minigun. Hey, you see that big blimp? What's the brother? Cola. Nuka Cola. I have to go ahead and assume that Nick probably doesn't appreciate. That we're helping the Brotherhood of Steel because they want him to die. Miss Perkins. It must be some kind of score to bring Marty crawling back to Nick for help. The way they parted wasn't pleasant. Okay. The hell is Nick? Maybe he hasn't gotten there yet? Like, whenever you dismiss somebody, do they just... When did we get rid of him? I feel... Oh, yeah, that guy. Might as well do that. Gone. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want it that badly. Brothers are looking for you. I really haven't used any building mods that much, so I really couldn't tell you what would be good. Let's wait like a day and then go back to Sanctuary. Maybe he's there. Because there should be seven people there. Because I remember it said seven. And then whenever I went there and looked, it said six. Maybe somebody kidnapped him. 
I sent him to sanctuary. Maybe he took uh maybe he took a while. Maybe he's like en route. On his way there. Beer and my slippers after this ship. That's all I ask. What's up, FBY? Still says six. You too. Have a good one, Chip. So he might be here now. Maybe. Maybe not. Could be being a real boner, not wanting to go. I think there's console commands I can use to teleport to him. Later, Bane. Have a good one. I mean, Nick's lugging that big minigun all over the place. Yeah. There's gravy. Mama Murphy, probably huffing glue in the shed. Where the fuck did Nick go? Alright. Looks like we're gonna have to do what I did before whenever I accidentally left Nick on the Pridwin and it fucking exploded. Um. All right, let's. Yeah. And. in the Commonwealth. Hey, there he is. Time to hit the it road. worked. <laughs> What's up? Just leave that out there. What? Yeah. Let's head out. Well, all right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I found him. Yep, turns out he was here in Sanctuary the whole time. Uh... Did I not get another... I don't think I got another quest. What's the plan? Nick. There's something bothering you? It's about time for you to go, Nick. Sure. Suppose I'll head on home then. Sanctuary. There you go. You're already home. Uh. Where is it? Fredwin. In a shower? All right, wait a. Never got another uh, quest. Never gonna get another quest. Never gonna meow meow meow. meow. 
I have to be at work in eight hours. Yeah, I was vaping earlier. <laughs> Had to have seen me. Oh. oh. Stuck. Nice anti tank rifle. I'm glad I'm not fighting against you. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin. I think I might have ran away Commonwealth, before I was supposed to. According to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information don't need to work, stay home. Our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there. And become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the institute before we met. I have to work so for I'm eleven hours right tomorrow. Service. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? I'd pursue your lead regarding Dr. Amari. I'm not certain if she's a crackpot or if she can genuinely assist your search. But our sources say she has some interesting technology at her disposal. Anything else, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Internal monitoring well, active. I think with that, I'm honestly going to go to bed. I have to... Now, after seeing that I have to be up, or I have to be at work in eight hours, it's making me uh, tired, so... I'm sorry, everybody. But, um... I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Why are you still talking to me? I, I know. Is he broke? I think he might be broke. Well, it wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique Elder. Questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well then. Dismissed. Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow night. Elder Maxon. Questions night? Alright, not right now. I think he might be Very okay. Well, Dismissed. I do want his coat though. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. And I will uh Oh, you're back just in time for me to go to bed. <laughs> Alright everybody. Bye bye. Oh, I'm tired. Ugh. Bye-bye.